from 41 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Yankees going up against the New York Mets. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And seeing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Aaron Judge. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And starting this one, David Peterson. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when, when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And a pitch. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. And that one is lifted in the air. Nimmo has it sized up. One down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Digging in, Oswald Peraza. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. First ball. pitch misses. One ball, no strikes. Just oh. missed. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Sweet. Next pitch Rio. misses way outside. See if he gives him anything to hit here. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Next pitch in for a strike. Now three and two. Down is full. One down, base is empty. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough right. to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Kicks and deals. Judge rips that one. Taylor brings it in. And that'll do it. Down in order, go the Yankees. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at City Field. And taking the ball for the Yankees, Garrett Cole. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Stepping in is the switch inning shortstop, Francisco Lindor. And a pitch. That one fouled off. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. 
On the ground to third. Knocks it down. No throw, and they can't get the out. Gentleman Neal stands in. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently. Batting over 300 so far this month. Lidore back in there. That one inside. Ball one. Lindor gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Lindor the move. Next offering is foul back. Ball to strike. And yeah. there's a strike. Good heater at 98. One, two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Just inside. off the inside Ball. corner. Two and two. It's a good take. And that's Ball. off the inside edge. And the count's full. Side and that is ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and there's a lot of the It's just a great opportunity to put up a big inning. Here's Brandon Nimmo. That's a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Safe. No, 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 no. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. He cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. He came off the bat at 111, and when that's the case, odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. Here's Pete Alonso. Tons of pop. Right now, he's third in the National League in homers. And the first and offering up. is not close. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't no, chase that inside. time. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Takes it in for the out. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. That is good. The catch -up. Francisco Alvarez now at the plate. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Only two hits over the last five games. Just that off the outside ball. edge. And that's ball one. One run across in the frame so far here in game one of two in the series. Two outs. That one oh. a little bit high. And a count two and one. And here it comes. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Pulled the string of the changeup. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's an early 1-0 lead. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Yeah, you know it's me. You can't stop my shine. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Yankees, Juan Soto. Juan Soto. Peterson back to work. Fought off foul. Nope, Next pitch inside. And one and one. And 
and the pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Taylor makes the grab one down. That is it. The designated hitter. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton. And a good no, eye there. Is, that's a ball. Misses oh. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. A gigantic blast. And we're all square. It's 1-1. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. First That's pitch doesn't find the zone. One out, base is empty. Lindor. Rizzo yeah. out of the play. Batting seven. The left field. Trent Grisham. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Ball, that's it. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here at the top of the second. In the air, right field. Stewart settles underneath it. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. But we're all tied up thanks to this solo homer. All even now at 1-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Now it's the DH, Ronnie Mauricio. The right-hander back to work. That one the other way. LeMayhew tosses to first. That. And a quick out, number one. That is seven. The right field. These DJs. Now it's DJ Stewart. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Ball. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Two, a big swing and a miss. One and two to count. One down, base is empty. And that there's missed. the ball. That's the ball. Two and two. That one Both misses. Counts. Three and two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. In the air, left side. Grisham under it. And there are two outs. Batting it. 
Tyrone Taylor up now for the Mets. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Oh, he hit him. That got him. And that got him pretty flush. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe ice cream calling? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Foul ball. Two outs. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now let's get the ball by the pitcher. There's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So the lineup flips over, and now it's Frankie Lindor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty to the plate. And that's, that's inside off ball. the inside edge. And that's ball two. Taylor, the lead runner at second. Baden at first, two out of the inning. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And that oh. just misses. Full count. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. And that one off the inside edge, you walked him. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Bill. It's all about great opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And now here's Jeff McNeil. He reached out a walk his first time. Just missed. All loaded up, bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a ground ball to middle. That's a base hit. One runs in. The second one scores. And it's three to one. Now there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Brandon Nimmo getting ready to hit. Single that drove in a run his first time through. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. Swinging a foul straight back. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. Handcuffed him with that slider. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We play two full. It's the Mets three, and the Yankees one. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Jose Trevino. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block catch and throw he is at the top of the game and that's in for a strike really good athlete and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders this catcher as well 
really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Only two now. Max misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Right through there for a strike. The Mets up by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And no, ball one to LeMayhew. One down, base is empty. He goes down looking. So the batting order turns over. Anthony Volpe will hit next. He's 0 for 1. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. That's the ball. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the lineup as well. And a 1 1. Got yeah. the bat going too soon. It's strike two. One ball, two strikes. center Taylor moving under it he's got it and that is out number three as we go to the last of the third and now it's the polar bear Pete Alonso As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh. Right-hander kicks deals. And that's, that's a little up. bit that's high. Now 2-0. And that's no, a little that bit missed. high. 3-0. That's oh, in that's there. And now 3-1. 3-1. Three and one. Three and one. And that's ball nope, four. Nope, that's ball four. Runner take your base. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting what pitches that? outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Francisco Alvarez Alvarez. digs in now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. There's the strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next That's offering down. is down low. There's a the strike. Ah. 
down and two here. That one missed. Runner at first with no outs here. Next pitch is outside. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended storm, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. And right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. And a strike on the outside edge. And at first, one away. In the air, right side. He's got it. Two down. Now, the right field. Now it's going to be DJ Stewart. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, and that's a foul ball. Righty delivers. He swings and fouls one off. Alonso leads off first with two down to the inning. That one two, ran two. inside, almost got him. Two two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Left-hand hitter waits. That just oh. misses, and now it's three and two. And he walked him. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. They just keep handing out gifts, bro. Or are we supposed, supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor, hit by a pitch his first time up. Going one. Going one. Fights it off, you'll see another. And the 2 Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Hater deals. 
check swing. Now to look down to first. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Two left for the Mets, and the score stays three to one. Back now with the Subway Series. Now it's the second baseman, Oswald Peraza. Peraza. Peterson back to work. Yeah. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. That's out to center field. Taylor coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now that the center field. Area. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's over one. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. That's ball. But there's on base and slugging too. One ball, no strikes. The Yankees trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. And that's Whoa. down it away. Early in the count, you have Doing to be up. real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Whoa. And Whoa. another ball. Right, and Judge spoils that one. One down, base is empty. Clips hey! the corner, counts full, three and two. Well, I'll down say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown yeah. out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary. But this type yeah, of guy yeah. shuts right the running game down. Juan Soto. Here's Juan Soto. That yeah. one clips the outside corner, and it's 0-1. And, two down, nobody on. Here in game one of two in the series. Next no, pitch is ball. outside. Out towards right center field. Taylor has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Bottom of the inning, Leading down up. the third Four baseman, seven. Brett Beatty. The third baseman. Well, taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. The 0-1. Right two. Do that no fastball ball. right Two's by right. him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Ah, uh, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now up to him, Francisco Lindor. First pitch, and he just misses. One and up. Next offering is foul back. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. Baden aboard here at first with nobody out. There's a strike. Two and two.
Next pitch oh. is downstairs. Full count. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but oh, his command in this one just second seems base. off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. One oh. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. And he deals. Pitch oh. misses there, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Brandon Nimmo. So digging in, Brandon Nimmo. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. Oh and, one. and he's in full speed. One out. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Two on, one out. And down on strikes he goes. Now two out. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat okay. he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Wow. Didn't great. pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Fouled off. He was late. Next oh. offering is downstairs. One and one. The one one is fouled off. First and second, two down. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So they strand a pair. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Mets three and the Yankees one. Life is water running down. And we're back. Leading we go to the top game. of the fifth. Here's the Stanton now. John Carlo. Stanton. The lefty fires. And a strike. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Lindor under this one. Pulls it in for the out. Now batting the first base Anthony Rizzo. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Grounded out his first time. Inside that's that's just ball. missed. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Alvarez snags it for the second out. Up next. Up next. The left fielder, Trent Grisham. Now the left fielder, Trent Grisham. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. 
just nope. missed. Two out spaces empty. Just missed. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two outs. Almost got him. The three one. Yeah, there's ball That's four. Ball four. Take your base. Boom. Do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if oh, we no, gave no, you enough no, bats? No. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Sliced hard, but foul. Yeah, now the one right yeah. through there for a strike. Grisham off the first with two away. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Alvarez down to first with it. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets three and the Yankees one. Back here in Queens, and now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Alvarez. And a pitch. And that no, one that just miss, misses a ball. a ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one. The wind and the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One, two now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Mauricio batting with one down, takes a strike. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. That just Ball, misses. Inside. One and one. Hey. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One and two. The wind of the pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. Grisham pulls it down. Out number two. Up next for the Mets. The right field. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Mets, DJ Stewart. Yeehaw. Right through there for a strike. Three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Mets go down quickly, but they still lead it 3 1.
Back here at City Field, top six. And stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMayhew. Peterson back to work. That's in for a strike. A base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The batter, the shortstop, Anthony. Back to the top of the lineup, and the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Just That's missed. Outside. Strike. One one. Good Ball. eye in that spot. That. The two one. Nope. Ball. Calling this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Three, two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And he chases that one. And now one away. And now Oswald Peraza. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Not well. close with that one. 1-0. One oh. Action in the Mets bullpen. Phil Bickford appears to be getting loose. Adams also throwing. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. And it's 1-1. One, and one. one ball, one strike. for a strike. Next That's offering misses down and away. On the ground left side, six. Four. Oh, the throw is over his head. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. Well, no trouble getting the double play started, but clearly some trouble on that return throw to first. I'm not sure if the runner going into second had a part in that or if it was something like a bad transfer. Either way, could have been two outs, but instead, they got to work around a runner in scoring position now. Here is Aaron Judge. Edge of the zone for a strike. 1 1. 0 oh and 1. Man at second. Foul ball there. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Kicks and deals. Now fly ball to right center. Nabs it, and that is that. A hit and an error in the inning, but they fail to score. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mets three, and the Yankees one. You asked for it, about to go no string ab on him. I'm from that bully with bullies with quick to spaz. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now Tyrone Taylor. Before she hit the 
And a pitch. Action in the pen down there. Victor Gonzalez getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Hamilton, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. And here it comes. That misses one, the zone, and that's ball one. Snakes through that one. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a the speedy bat. potential the base runner. Game. When with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Beatty right. in the box now. No balls and a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Fought off foul. <laughs> Swings and misses. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Why to kick the pitch? And that's, that's in the dirt. Ball. One ball, two strike. That's down oh. and in. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Huh. Got him swinging. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And we're back. Leading we go to the top game. of the seventh. Now the it's right the right fielder, Juan, Juan Soto. Soto. And a pitch. Ball. Oh. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Two no, balls, no it. strikes to count. pitch that no one ball. off the mark and it's three and oh and a four pitch walk well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot hitter didn't offer at it now he has somebody to worry about over at first now here's Giancarlo Stanton he's already homer here in this one The tying run at the plate. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And there's one down. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Hey, and he pumps it a strike. Hey. 
Next oh. pitch misses. And now it's even one and one. And oh, another ball. Good. Soto leads off first with one away. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Trent Grisham waiting to hit for the Yankees. Tying run at the plate. On the ground to the left. Could be extra bases. Soto around second, heads for third. Here comes the runner. The relay to the plate. The tag. Got him. And he's out. right there this is no time to gamble when you're down in the ball game you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a runner or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe just a poor decision Trent Grisham now at the plate clips the outside corner going along And ball one. Ball to strike. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Man on second, two down. And that's, that's off the inside edge. Now two and two. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one should be extra bases. The run scores from second. It's 3-2. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. David Peterson is done, and a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. Phil Bickford gets the ball now. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. So, runner at second, two down. Jose Trevino getting ready to hit. That pitch gets the corner, and it's 0-1. And a good no, eye there. That's the ball. Next pitch no, downstairs. Down. Oh. Two and one. Two. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Two and two, the count. So the tying run at second. That's the ball. D.J. LeMayhew on deck for the Yankees. Two outs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch.
Righty delivers. Battle in and over, and it could have been worse. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Victor Gonzalez. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Now the number two hitter, Jeff McNeil. The second point came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. Here comes a pitch. Here's a strike. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Lifted in the air down the left side. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. The one, two. Swing and a ball popped up. Rizzo under it. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well and that's what caused him to pop it up. Brandon Nimmo will hit next. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. He swings and fouls one off. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. And one misses and inside. Down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Just missed, off the, the outside part of the plate. Two, two. Here's a two, two. Next Full offering count. is outside. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Rolled over to third. LeMayhew. Throw no, not in bad. time, and he's safe. <laughs> And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. A strikeout and a walk. He that one called a strike. It's 0 and 1. The pitch. And the slider just misses. Missing low. Two. 
step off, throw to first, he's in there. and he's back hey. in safely. One run game, one out, one on. It misses. It's a strikeout. Francisco Alvarez digs in now. Three strikeouts already. He's over three. And yeah, that's outside. That one misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. The pitch. Ripped on a line. Judge makes the play, and the inning is over. Mets strand one, but they're up 3-2. to two. Welcome back, and a new arm of the mound to start the eighth, Jorge Lopez. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Here's DJ LeMayhew, corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And the pitch. And that's outside. Movement in the bullpen. Edwin Diaz. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Looking to get the tying run on base. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Puts it away for the out. A couple of pitches and a quick out. The bat. Anthony Volpe. Here's the Yankees' leadoff hitter, Anthony Volpe. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And the first the pitch misses for ball one. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Oh. And it is two and one. Righty to the plate. Woo. That one in there across the letters. Strikeout. Put the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of the staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Now it's the second baseman, Oswald Peraza. Down to call here, rolls foul. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Slider oh, misses outside. off his glove he decides to eat it and the defense comes away with nothing couldn't have timed it up any better than that and now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first 
Here comes Aaron Judge. Hey, Lopez checks over to first, and he's back. First pitch misses. With the tying run on at first, here in game one of two in the series. McNeil. In plenty of time to first. Judge out on the play. Third out. One left for the Yankees. They trail it. 3-2. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Caleb Ferguson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Ronnie Mauricio now. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. As the lefty gets to work. No, that missed. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. One and two. The count. Next two offering two. down in the dirt. Three, Struck three. him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Frustrating the end to the at bat for the, the hitter, three. and I'm sure that's going to sit on for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Stands in here. Tried to hold back Good his swing there, right. but went around. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a foul ball. And that one, skips two. in the dirt. And now the lefty. And now oh. one upstairs. Kicks and deals. And delivers outside. Ground ball right side, and he picks it up in foul territory. And that's ball nope, four. Nope, ball four. Take your base. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. Now he had some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Stewart, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. A little yeah. up front there as he swings through it. One and one. And ball. another ball. One 
fouled off. Two and two. Side keeps the AB going. That's the third. One at second. And that's two. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Great full. It's the Mets three and the Yankees two. time and do damage because he's that good first pitch uh, uh, doesn't uh. find the zone it back with two strikes. One, two now. Damn. And a strike down for the first out here in the night. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. That's inside. No, that's A one run lead here at the top of the night. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. Yeah, the right hander deals. And yeah, there's a ball. Good one. Yeah, the two one hammered, but foul. One run game here at the top of the ninth. The next offer misses. Full count now. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. One down, and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo, one for three. Diaz throw to first, Herrera back in on a dive.
trying to close out a one run lead here in game one of two in the series. And that's nope. off oh. the inside edge. Ball one and one. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a pitch. Strikes and misses, struck him out. Well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. Well, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. You can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Aaron Boone making a move for a new bat. Alex Verdugo, a critical at bat in this game for him. Best ball for a strike. One long. Oh one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-2. And, the Yanks down to their final strike. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season, and this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games.